Alrighty. I always like it whenever I start streaming. I have like a little ad menu thing show up here and it always glitches out. And it says apparently we're going to be running like 15 ads in the first 15 minutes, like a one 30 second ad a minute. It's like, uh, you sure about that? That's not what I said it to. It just always glitches out right when I start. But anywho, we are back live. Not exactly the time I intended to be streaming, but uh, we'll stick with the schedule. Hello, Pioneer Robot. How's it going? How's your day been? Yeah, I think I actually mentioned last week, if not last stream, that I was planning on moving my schedule. Turns out plans fell through and we're sticking with the exact same schedule. So it'll be 1 p.m. Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday for the time being. Apologize for everything being up in the air, but everything's up in the air for me, too. So we're all in this together. Yeah, doing Breath of the Wild today, seeing how modded we can make it. Probably very. Hey, I'm glad to be around here for three month anniversary. Hey. Thanks for the three months. I appreciate it. I'm glad for it too. I really do appreciate it. But yeah. I was actually originally planning on doing um, game development today. So I'm working on a small pet project in Unity right now. Kind of like an adventure platformer story driven thing. But I'm still really early in development for that, so it's not quite at the point that I can actually, like, I guess stream it, because I'm also looking up stuff constantly of how to do stuff. Yeah. So I think once I get further along in that, I want to come back to that, but I've been having a lot of fun with it. Maybe someday you guys get to see some more of it. I do have a lot of stuff. I want to actually see how long. I wrote like a story, whole story arc for it, whole thing for it. Um, how many pages? Yeah, like there's a page of just characters itself, main characters, then there's pre-story, then there's actual story, and then like all the different things. It's like five page long thing. Yeah, watching you plays, look stuff up. Yeah, that's totally fun. Just watching me Google. Hello, I'm not very creative. How's your day been? But yeah, I was originally planning on doing that, but I still got to look up a lot of stuff. So we'll be coming back to that when I feel more confident in everything. So today instead we'll do Breath of the Wild and just go ridiculous. Ah, uh, golly, stop it. You'll get them next time. Actually, I want to see if I can. Um, do I have that here? I do. Ah, dang it, horribly missed. Oh dang! Sets the sets the president for the entire stream there. That's not good. <laughs> Rip. That's okay. We also got other commands like sad, wisdom, slap, am I pro, coin flip. Goalie blocked it. Dang, goalie's on point today. We need to pay him more. Yeah. But well, I guess we can swap on over. <laughs> I slap Pioneer Robot with a guppy. All right, but we are doing Breath of the Wild today. But my plan is every time I die, or if it takes too long, like if we go half an hour without a death, I will be adding a new mod. <laughs> Life is like a box of chocolate. Sometimes it gives you diabetes. Yes. But yeah, every either half hour or every time I die, whichever comes first, we'll be adding a new mod. So there are tons of mods that we can get um, from online. Let me just pull some up here. Oh, come back here. Like for instance, we can dual mini bosses. Here's another one. It looks like every enemy in the game gets duplicated. All test of strength and mini guardians, second spawn for all Hinoxes. So it duplicates some of the enemies in the game. 
Um, other stuff. Linkle, I know, is a classic mod. Uh, <laughs> there is this one. I don't know what this does. I guess it's an outfit for Link. I don't know what it goes over, though. So we got ridiculous outfits we can wear. Um, Camera animation, I don't know what that does. But yeah, some of these do, like, little stuff. Like, Linkle outfits. 9,999 stamps. Double Hinoxes. Yeah, that is an option. We could get double Hinoxes if we wanted to. Um... But we also got others here. Let's see. I'm trying to remember. I know there's a couple of them. There's one called Cannonball, which makes Link do a cannonball every time he dives into the water. Um, yeah. Changes Link model a little bit. Uh, goalie blocked it again. Dang it. Uh, some of these are just people asking for mods, so those aren't actually things. Um, but yeah, there's a whole lot of different mods here. We're just looking at the, just barely scratching the surface. But anyways, for the moment, I only have darker nights and brighter lights. We'll run with that until I perish, and then we will start a new mod. So give me just one second here. Let me load the game up, and we'll get going. Yeah. So I am also planning there are, some of these mods are going to conflict. I have had that happen before like um relics of the past and the randomizer don't play nice together for the moment. I know they are updating them so that they do. But for the moment they don't work well together. So if there's ever a conflict, I'll get rid of the oldest mod. So that way we can just keep cycling through a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I have... Let, actually, let's just start a new game. Screw it. New game, master mode. Let's go. Do you guys have any recommendations for mods, too, we should try? Be sure to let me know in chat when it comes time for it. So that way we can add them to the options. Because I'm sure you guys know a lot more mods than I do. I've looked at some of them, but there's honestly, I think, thousands of mods at this point. All right. Once we get going, like one of them that I tried earlier was Thomas Stick, which places the Thomas, the tank engine model over top of a tree branch. That one didn't work as intended. For some reason, I couldn't actually move the camera down and the stick didn't look right. It was just a regular stick. So that one, I think, is broken. Dragon Ball Z mod. I don't know if there is one. There might be. We can look. Yeah, Thomas Stick, I tried. That doesn't play nice with Darker Nights, Brighter Lights. So. This might end up being just a lot of me troubleshooting, but fingers crossed it won't be. Okay, let's get out of the Shrine of Resurrection easily. Yeah, we have, like, Randomizer, I know, is a big one. Waikatiru's Randomizer. Relics of the Past is another one. I don't know how well that one does if you already have a game going. So maybe we can look into that. Um, I ah, slapping my robots. Yeah, Randomizer, Relics of the Past. Um, I know there's a couple other from Waikatiru, like Dungeon of Horrors by Waikutiru, but I think that's only in the Hyrule Castle dungeon itself. I don't think that's in the rest of the world. So some mods like that only change a tiny area of the game. Those I don't think will be as interesting as other ones. I think the randomizer is a lot of fun. It is fun. I like it a lot. Done a lot of it. Haven't done a lot with Relics of the Past yet, but I need to. I said I would on my channel, so... I guess this Sunday, I'm going to start a series of playthroughs for Relics of the Past. So we got that going. At least I'm going to try. Now that BCML is working again, now that I got everything working, I can come back to Relics. So I think I did like three streams of it or something, and after that, it just kind of messed up. I forget exactly what happened. I think it was like an update that it said it needed. Then it wouldn't let me actually do it, and then stuff broke when I tried to update. 
Especially random tele... Oh, random teleportation. Why you gotta give me nightmares like that? I was having such a good day. <laughs> now, it is a fun mod, though. Okay. Let's go out here. Let's go see the cutscene. <laughs> yeah. Just bye. Yeah. Random teleportation, though. It, that... I'm glad he fixed it, because I think he did update it. I know before it was just nuts. It went way too often. <laughs> yeah, hello, new part of the map. Yeah, what was it? It was like the first update that I played of it. He, the, it just went way too often. Ended up that I just teleported every 10 minutes, which was awful. So then I think he updated it, actually, and then it stopped teleporting me as often which I was happy about because it got to the point where I couldn't even do anything. I just had to wait it out for like half an hour. <laughs> Fall damage, cancel off the tower. Yes, we should do that. I need a weapon for that. I mean, we got some sticks here. We got stuff for that. Nah, not too often made it funnier. <laughs> I'm glad it was funny to watch, but to actually play it was a nightmare. All right. Oh, bug there. I'm not going to worry about the bug. Yeah, we got a stick. Anyway, let's get going. Not gonna grab any of these beetles. I'll grab a couple mushrooms though. I would like to eventually get back into speed running this game, but I have a lot going on right now, so I don't know if I have time for it. I think I still have actually durability set to infinite, so whoops. Okay, there's the old man's baked apple. Yeah, hello, opposite part of the world. Yeah, it teleported me to the Hebra region so many times. Okay, yeah, we got the... Oh, that's right, it's a blue Bacoblin now, because it's master mode. All right, let's take him on. He's not too bad, really. It's just a matter of chasing him. Okay. Physics is going to be a little bit weird, because I'm running different frame rate. Yeah, he's starting to regen a little bit of health. Come back here. And go. There we go. Yes. Already third down, we'll get him. Easy. Easy, easy. I remember the first time I tried Master Mode, though. I think I died to this guy so many. Ouch. Died to this guy so many times. Okay. Stop healing, sir. And especially him and the, the Coblin down there in the Stone Skull. Why different frame rate? Um, just for recording, it looks nicer. There's him. We knock a stick out of his hands. I'll steal his stick. And there. Oh, dang. That's it. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how that one didn't work out. There we go. Now we got it. Yeah, we'll go raise the tower. Go talk to the old man. Go do some shrines. Try and keep an eye on the time, too, so that way I can keep up with the mods. Come on, hit him. There we go. Don't heal. Okay, we'll get that. This will take him out. Guy taking us forever. Yeah. Blue Bacoblins are tanky, and I only do three damage. So, yeah, they take quite a long time. Okay. I know Zelda's going to stop me here in a second. Yep, there it is. All right. Got to listen to Zelda for a moment. Let's go head for the point marked on my map by the Sheikah Slate. Eh, I could use some hearts. I'm not too worried about my health right now, because I think we'll be able to get into Magnesis before I actually need to heal. I'm just worried about the guy... Yeah, the guy up ahead's got the sword and shield. I would like the shield and sword. There's two games... <laughs> yeah, Link... There's two games where you wish tutorial cutscenes would be skippable, and both are on the Switch. <laughs> Why am I not surprised by that? How did that not work? Oh, shoot. Archer guy sees me. All right, we gotta worry about the archers while worrying about this guy. Also, technically three, but never mind. 
That's fine. Yeah, I feel like games... I feel like cutscenes are one of those things that are just a holdover from the first early days of gaming. Like, when you needed to tell a story, you just had it play a .mov or .mp4 or something. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't realize you'd jump attack that fast. Crap. Those are Pokemon Sword, Shield, and Breath of the Wild. Like, yes, Zelda, I know. Let me go do the plateau stuff. Yeah. Okay, let me... Crap. We're off to a great start. Okay. Whoops, indeed. Okay, let's close that. Oh, let me set up a wheel real quick. We can spin for some of these mods so that way we don't have to handpick them. So we got the randomizer. We got relics of the past. Oh, don't want two options. What other ones do we got? Um, yeah, if anybody, like I said, if anybody has any suggestions for mods. Oh, yeah, you said Dragon Ball Z. See if they have anything here. Um, Shenron. What's this one? Video is private. That's a good sign. That <laughs> great sign right there. Double Hinoxes. Um. Okay. Which one was that? Okay, where am I? Oh, I'm still in the search term. Okay. Guardians Awoken, which one? Dual mini bosses was that one. Um. All right, is Linkle still up? I'd assume so. There's so many here. Which one is it? Um. I don't know if I even want to go down that path. Let's just scroll through the Thomas stick. Like I said, does not work. Uh, dual mini bosses we had, so there's dual Lionel. No, I guess dual Lionel bosses, if it's delivered, would be the one that we did. Um, hmm. Ancient armor Lionel. That sounds like a night. Oh, man. It's a Lionel wearing ancient armor. Dragon Ball Z is a risk and rain, too. It was just being silly. Well, they have some. Okay, so <laughs> we'll do ancient Lionel. Okay. Let's go through some more of these here. See what other ones we got. What is this Ragnar? Um, first mod. What does this do? Okay. It looks like it gives Link the sword and the outfit. What? Sword Shield is particularly annoying because it's mo because in most Pokemon games you can get your first Pokemon within ten minutes of gameplay, and in Sword and Shield it takes an hour to be able to catch anything. Wow, that is just wrong on so many levels. Just let me play the game. Stop telling me how to play a game twenty years into a franchise. Okay, um, what else do we got? Uh, do, 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 do. Breath of the Wild installer. I don't think I need that. Wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. Um, instant great plateau. I well, I guess we could. I don't know what that would do because once we finish the plateau, that one's pointless. Um, hmm. anybody got any suggestions? Just throw anything out there if you want. <laughs> See if it's there. A Pyra Flame Blade Sword. That sounds like a winner there. Okay, we'll do that. Um, I guess we can sort by new too. Well, updated. What is up? Updated, I guess, would be have any that are here and have been worked on already. More aggressive guardians. That sounds like a nightmare. Go do other stuff. We are back already. 
other elemental swords or things. Yeah, I could look into that. Mud greatly enhances the speed of all moving guardians once they saw you. Enhance their HP, speed of their beams, distance from where they know. Oh, that sounds like a nightmare. And makes ancient shield unable to deflect automatic, not automatically deflect the beams. Ooh. I don't know if I want to do that. Animizer, what is this? Um, do you have a BCML folder? Or, no, you don't. It's just manual. Freeze everything in ice. I don't know if there is that. Let me check through enemies first real quick. Um, alternative Lionels. I think this is just a reskin, isn't it? Ah, right, welcome, welcome. So, what is this? White man. Okay, so it's just a reskin on it. So... All right, <laughs> looks like we ran out of music there. Um, okay, yeah, we'll do this one. Alternative Lionels. Okay, what was the other other elemental swords? I know there's categories. How do I find the categories? Enemy category. How do I, okay, mods, here we go. Here we go, so should be under, uh, not effects. Is there weapons? Hmm. Okay, what else do we got? Falling with style. Yes. Okay, we got falling with style two. Oh, there's another one that I know of. Throw that one in. Kick everything. Once we get all the list or whatever set up, then we can actually get going. Then we can just spin the wheel each time. Stuff you have now done. Ah, welcome back. Okay. Um, Overruled, I guess. I'll, I'll look for three more, and then we can go. <laughs> Dabbing Squidward statue. I mean, I mean, how can you, how can you not? If we get this one, though, we have to go check it out. Um, hmm. Darker Nights, Brighter Lights, I already have. Hinox has a bow of light. What? Why do I want this? Hinox and Sirius Gablin now has now guards a bow of light. Oh wait, he doesn't own it, he guards it. Okay. I don't know if that one's worth it then. If it's just sitting in a chest, it might make me way too overpowered. Um ultra slow and fast guardian beams. What is this one? Typically max speed is two thousand meters per second and mass is just under one hundredth. Um, can I edit it? Squeeze it. Okay, currently of point one five and three. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do this one. Ultra slow and fast guardian beams. We'll get one more. And you mentioned the ice. Um, anything. See if there's any frozen enemies or something. I'm not... Waluigi mod. Do I even want to know what this is? I, I don't know if I want to. All right. I got to know now. What does Waluigi mod do? That's not even loading. It doesn't even want to show me. It's like it's embarrassed of this. Um, Breath of the Wild version 2. Why is there a first version of this? <laughs> um, Oh, obsolete, so it won't work. Waluigi, okay, four years, five years ago. Does this one work? Here's Waluigi and Breath of the Wild. 
it literally just replaces Link with Waluigi. I'd assume it's an outfit. Yeah, it looks like it's just an outfit over top, but I guess we'll add it to the list. Okay. We got a decent list so far. We got Randomizer, Relics of the Past, Shenron, Dual Mini Bosses, Ancient Armor Lionel, Pyra, Flame Blade, Alternative Lionels, Falling with Style 2, Kick Everything, Dabbing Squidward Statue, Ultra Slow and Fast Guardian Beams, Breath of the Wild, V2 Switch. Let's... Waluigi Supreme, oh, it might be. I'm scared if we get Waluigi. Let's see what we get. Do I even want to know? Do I even want to try Waluigi? Like, I, I don't know if I do. All right. Looks like it might be Pyra Flame Blade Sword. Okay. Pyra Flame Blade Sword. Let me, I guess we can keep a list going of all the mods. Just for fun. So we got darker nights, brighter light. We also have higher flame blade sword. Let me shrink it down so it's not massive. Okay, that's tiny. Whoops, a little bit too far. Still too far, hold on that um because i don't know how many we can have at one point until things start breaking we'll give it a shot i'll do as many as i can okay let me there we go just list it there so let me get this one downloaded and loaded and i will be right back okay Where did you go? Here it is. Okay, found it. See, so yeah, if this one doesn't play nice with Darker Nights, then we'll get rid of Darker Nights. And then if one later doesn't play nice with this, then we'll get rid of this. Oh, it gives me options here. I might as well let you guys see the options. I don't know if you can read it, but... Um, single choice option allows some customization. Okay. Emerald ether lines glowing intensely. Must select one. We're going to set max glow. Because why not? We're going to blind everybody here. There we go. We now have Pyra's sword in Breath of the Wild. I don't know if this is a good thing or not. Okay. Let me load the game and I'll be right back. Oh, wrong one. There. I, what are we doing here? I mean, I know this, I feel like this can be either really funny or really dumb. Okay. It's loaded. That's a good sign. Let me full screen it here. And then we'll go that. Yeah, we'll do this. Turn you off. Perfect. Now that Oreo clump was that Oreo clump was great. I bet a lot of Oreos. You can never go wrong with a huge amount of Oreos. It's always going to be good. Okay, so if we ever find the flame blade, now we can have Pyra's sword in the game. Hopefully I don't die immediately here. Okay, I want to I do want to get that Bacoblin sword and shield there though. I think I can do that as long as the archers don't see me. As long as I can stay outside of their range, I don't know, because I increased the level of detail range or whatever. There's one in the Coliseum Lionel, I think. Yeah, the Coliseum Lionel does have one. I know there's also one by the stump, north of the Coliseum. Oh, shoot, you saw me. Anyway, let's do this. Let's take care of him. I'll grab his shield. Those guys there, I think I'm way too far for them to actually see me. Ah, shoot, okay, he, his jump attack's way too fast. I don't know if I can do this. 
He's already fully healed. You know what? Screw it. We'll find a shield later. Okay, let's raise the tower. Yeah, the Coliseum Lionel I know has a flame blade. I don't know if this one legendary pot lid. Yes, we need a pot lid. There's one we can get the pot lid by the old man's house. Okay, I don't know if it's the regular flame blade or the great flame blade that that mod replaces. We'll have to find out. Okay, tower has been raised. We can fall damage cancel. skip we'll try fall damage cancel anyway hopefully we can get it i think i can i've done some of it before so i kind of remember what i'm doing yes we do need the overpowered pot lid all right uh drip man Playing this game at a thousand percent speed. Coming back to normal speed feels slow. Okay. Regional map extracted. We'll get one more cutscene where Zelda tries to get Link to remember. Then we can go talk to the old man. All right, let's eat up here. Perfect. Watch this. First try. Let's go. I think that's a little too late. Nope. Perfect. See, look at that. Easy. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I really wish in Breath of the Wild 2 there would be an option to skip the intro cutscene like this. Like, the old man talking takes so long. And it's just sitting here the entire time. Yes, I know Calamity Ganon is an evil that's been festering inside Hyrule Castle for the past hundred years. I've put over a thousand hours into this game. I know this by now. Okay. So, yep, we gotta go do a shrine, then Old Man talks to us again, we do the rest of the shrines, then we get Paraglide. Pretty straightforward. Um, I'll go do Magnesis first, because it's right here. I don't really want to deal with going to bombs then coming all the way back here. I know speedrunners, it's faster, but I am not a speedrunner. Yeah, there was another mod, too, that I think I can look into. I forget what it was called. It might have just been Waluigi, but it was a... They replaced all the sound effects that Link made. All the grunts Link made whenever, like, jumping or swinging or something with Waluigi saying wah. It was only one sound clip, so it got annoying fast. The devs put hours and hours into these cutscenes and storylines. You'll watch it and like it. <laughs> Darn it. What if I don't wanna? Okay, Ruby... All right, there we go. Into the first shrine, we'll go get some Magnesis real quick. This one's usually pretty easy. I know we got the Guardian up ahead, but I'm really not worried about him. I got an ax. Okay, there's that. Let me fiddle with the, apologies for the clicks. My headphones cable is like resting right on my wrist and it's braided too, so it's rubbing it. It's annoying. Okay, it doesn't look like we've dropped any more frames, so it's holding up all right. But yeah, we can go, once we get off the plateau, we can go check the Coliseum Lionel and, and see if he does, if it's the regular flame blade or the great flame blade. Because I think the stump has the Great Flame Blade. I don't know if... Or I think it has a Great Flame Blade. I don't remember which one it is. Alright, come here, Guardian. Come here. Dude's got some health. <laughs> it's 
like especially early on when I was playing the game I never bothered to use Magnesis as a weapon because I always thought it was unreliable now that I put so much time into it I want to use Magnesis as a weapon because it's just funny and it actually works really well once you can get it okay let's grab that but yeah the mods that we have the bigger that they are like the randomizer overhauling a lot of stuff the bigger the mods are, the more likely that they will break stuff. Like, they won't play nice together. And a pointed stick. <laughs> Always pointed sticks. But no, if you're actually going into fight, you need a raspberry. Raspberry and fruit are your best options. Never pointed sticks. All right, there's Magnesis. We got to talk to the old man again. Then we'll be off to the bomb shrine. Yeah, I don't think there's any... I think there's only fire arrows. Great flame blade is the stump. Okay. So yeah, we can... Lionel's regular flame blade. So yeah, we can check both and see which one is which. If it does update both or not. Or, or do we want to take bets? Will the Lionel... Or loading into Lionel or the great flame blade just outright crash the game <laughs> a banana yes how to defend yourself against a raspberry how many people actually understand that reference and don't think don't think that I'm just a blithering idiot for that if you don't understand the reference you need to be more cultured all right, I think I added a new walking song, did I? Um, I don't think I did. No, to me, you're blithering at it. Ah. Well, you got to watch some more of your own British television. It's from Monty Python. All right, let's go get bombs. You get it? A. Hey. We'll be blithering it is together. Okay, so yeah, bomb shrines over that way. We got the archers there. I guess I could try sneak striking them, but I won't kill them. I'm kind of worried about that. I would like a shield, too. Maybe I can sneak in here and pick one up from these guys. I think maybe if I can rush in, I think I can grab one fast enough. How does this music sound like Pokemon music and Zelda music? It is neither of those musics. It is, in fact, Mario. Okay, there's their little thingy. He doesn't see me. They're going to see... Is that... Do they have a shield there? I don't think so. Okay, screw it. We're running. Okay, we got a club and a bow. There is a shield. I want the shield. Give me the shield. Don't take the shield. Nope, crap. Okay, we got the shield. I got my shield. Perfect. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> right away. How to defend yourself against a man wielding dangerous fruit sketch. Yes. It's a funny. Oh wait, though that guy's got flame arrows. Um, I didn't realize that. Okay, I heard there was a glitch with this. Let me test this out real quick. I've heard that this was actually a bug. I don't know if it is still. I want to test it. So if they hit your shield, and then you pull open the map for the first time while getting the arrow thing. Oh, okay. Okay, so I guess... The, okay, interesting. So if you get the arrow text for the first time and the map for the first time, Link just ends up standing there forever. That. <laughs> that. There you go. That's your useless bit of info for the day. Yeah, let's run away here. Let's go over the bombs. I am actually interested in getting the um, slow guardian blast. I think that would be funny. Okay, well, that's also running. I'm going to remove Pyra Flame Blade Sword from the list. Good egg galaxy, yes. It soft locks. No, it doesn't soft lock. I have to hold down the shield button, and then Link stays in that position. I had seen before that if you, like, press a certain button combo or hold a certain button, that you can spin Link's head around freely, freely but I don't remember what it was. Okay. 
don't know. Should we set it as a rule too that I can't heal? I can't eat to heal. I have to only heal with spirit orbs. That way it encourages me to die more often. Search the guardian. I should. I'd, we could get some ancient parts. I don't plan on getting to Robbie's lab for a while though. I guess we could sell them for money. But yeah, I guess we could make that a rule that I can't eat until no eating allowed. I can only heal with spirit orbs. Or beds, I guess. We could do beds, too. Ran right past it. Yeah, I can run back to it. I was worried about the Guardian next to it, though. I didn't really feel like getting blasted today. Trying to see. Suddenly my YouTube channel got two subscribers out of nowhere. I'm trying to figure out where they came from. I don't know. Okay, we got the bombs. But yeah, I guess we can only heal with beds. We can only heal with um, shrines. So that way I can't just get out of easy or difficult situations easily. I have to actually like try and work out ways to stay alive and stuff. Or subs. Yeah, I'm happy about that. I don't know where they're coming from, but I'm happy about it. Okay. And I ah, made it. Oh, shoot. I'm too close to the wall now. I can't do this. Yeah, Mario Galaxy music is so good. Honestly, if I'm ever going to produce a game and I have millions of dollars to throw at it, I'm hiring the people who did Mario Galaxy music to do music for my game. How many now? 1801 we're growing it's slow it's been slow ever since the algorithm changed last year but it's been growth we've gained 60 subs over the year so i'm pretty happy with that okay there we go we'll heal up with this two more shrines to go yeah sweet I'm happy with it. Glad everybody's enjoying my videos enough. Okay, so yeah, I want to climb up to stasis. And then we can do cryonis next, and then we can run over to get the paraglider. Alright, um... Uh, I guess we can go back for the guardian parts. We can get a couple. They sell for a decent bit of money. Okay, which one's the live one? Is this the live one? That's the live one. Crap. All right, so we're not... I guess we're not searching him. He doesn't want to be searched today. No probing for him. Okay, how... Okay, I'm out in the open here. This could be a bit of a problem. Bit of a lot of a problem. Okay, we got ancient material... Guardian, yeah, you're gonna see me again. Thankfully, you can just... I think I'm far enough I can just sprint it. Yeah. Thankfully, they don't track you as well, and the beam takes time to get to you. That's, like, one of their biggest weaknesses. Once you learn that, then they're really not that dangerous. Oh, and question for you guys. I've been thinking, or wondering this a little bit. So I put out this poll on my YouTube channel... But I would like to get your guys' opinions, too. So for Breath of the Wild, in regular Breath of the Wild, the cooking mechanic is rather overpowered. There's a lot of meals you can make, but there's only a couple that actually really help you, like enduring food, um, overloading hearts food, stuff like that. You just cook one durian and you heal everything. For Breath of the Wild 2, would you guys prefer that the cooking mechanic be slimmed down, that there's not as many meals, but there's more buffs you can get from them, like heat resistance, then fireproof, and I don't know what else. Like, increase attack damage, causing elemental damage with weapons, stuff like that. Or would you prefer that there's more recipes, but less buffs? So, like, you get rid of the enduring, you get rid of the overloading hearts, but you have more recipes to make. 
Which way would you guys prefer it to go? Less recipes, more buffs. Okay. That would be interesting, because if you could do, like, frost attack damage, level 1, 2, and 3, I feel like that could be really interesting. If you're without a ice weapon, then you still have a chance if you can cook food. Or, like, electrical attack. Or attack speed up. Something like that could be really interesting. But I don't know how... That would be really hard to balance, so it could end up being way overpowered. Kind of like Enduring Food is, so I don't know. Okay, there's that. They think the recipes are fun because there's so many secrets, little known recipes. Yeah, there are so many. Okay, we got that spicy pepper. I need to cook some... Oh, there's our pot lid. Yes. All right, we got a pot lid. Game over. Ain't gonna get any better than this. Okay, weapons are finally full. We can drop a stick. Okay, so let's cook some peppers, I guess. The collectionist in you. Yeah, there's a lot of rare recipes out there that are pretty cool. I don't know. I can see both sides of the argument. Adding more recipes to the game, but then at the same time, if you add more, then... Like, there has to be a reason to go for more. Like, cook more things as opposed to just... Like, healing X amount of hearts. I don't think that one worked right. Yeah, no, it didn't. Okay, let's check out another stick. And let's get across this log. Yeah, I think the recipes they currently have are cool. Being able to make, like, crepes and everything. I just wish there was a reason to cook those. Like, I never really have a reason to cook wild berry crepes because it doesn't give me anything better than just fried apples, dude. Okay, a couple of goblins over there. They don't really have good weapons, so I'm not going to deal with them. Um, I guess I can actually put on the armor. <laughs> have, like, two defense as opposed to nothing. I don't know if two defense actually gets you anything. But one thing I do hope for in Breath of the Wild 2 is that they have a counter to electrical weapons. Like, ice weapons and, like, ice whiz robes you can defeat with fire easily. Fire whiz robes you can defeat with ice easily. And then there's just electric. That's just immune to everything and strong against everything. Kind of wish that there was something that you could use to fight that. But I don't know what it would be. Earth, I guess. Fire, water, lightning, earth. Is that what it's supposed to No, fire, water, air, earth, I think it's supposed to be. All right, let's get up here. I think this is, yeah, I think this is the last stop before we just go straight for the top. Grounding against electricity. How would you, what would grounding look like? Like, I think that's a cool idea. I don't know what buffs they could do, though. Ground earth. Yeah, that's right. There we go. We're out of stamina, but I don't care because we're going into shrine number three. Grab some stasis. I got cold food as well, so I just need to make it to Mount Hylia. Rubber armor. Yeah, put on armor. I just wish there was like a weapon. Okay. We'll get stasis, then we'll run over to Cryonis after grabbing the warm doublet. If I get the paraglider and haven't died, then I'll add a new mod. There we go. I should play Let's Go Pete or Eevee sometime. I have it, actually. I got it years ago. The spring hammer, maybe it's rubber. <laughs> spring hammer dealing extra damage against electrical enemies. That would be cool. Need to get on the horn to Nintendo and make this happen. Because I totally am in mean, regular contact with Nintendo. Don't worry about it. Okay. 
wait for him to roll by. There we go. Just a shield over there. I have infinite durability on at the moment. I should probably turn that off, but I'm lazy. Come on. Say drop. But if the spring hammer were to deal like 10 times damage against electrical enemies, that would actually be kind of funny. Okay. Let's wait for this to recharge. Then we'll move it out of the way and keep going. And there we go. As long as it doesn't touch me, I'll be okay. Getting the maracas and Kuroks. Um, I guess we could. I don't know how long I'm going to do this for. I don't know if I'm going to, like, turn this into a Wednesday series or what. I mean, I could. If you guys enjoy it, let me know. I could. If you guys enjoy it, I will turn it into a series. But if you guys aren't. Just like as a fun one-time thing, then no, I won't. Won't do any Koroks or anything. One thing I would want to do, though, is get back into modding Risk Rain, too. That's fun to do. Ah, uh, Stealth Goblins. Nobody likes you. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed making that first mod. I don't know if there's any ways I can improve it. There's a long, <laughs> there's a long series. Let's find all the Koroks. I think people have done that actually. Like a let's play, find every single Korok in the game. I think they're like 20 plus episodes long at this point. There we go. We got cold resist. <laughs> okay. I know there's the black Bacoblin over here. He is sleeping, though, so I think I can sneak up on him, and we can just blow him off the cliff. I don't think he's holding any weapons. We got this. Easy. Yeah, he's right by that chest. If I don't push the weapons off the cliff, I'll be fine. We can just chuck him into the water. I don't need any of his drops. There he is. Come here, buckaroo. Your time has come. <laughs> and come on. Go off the cliff. There we go. I don't know how he lived. Give spawn back in. A welcome back. How did he survive that? I mean, that was a long fall. And dude didn't even take any fall damage. Where is he, too? Yeah, I was talking about I wanted to make some more Risk of Rain 2 mods or make another one. I don't know... Other than giving you gold for my current mod, I don't think there's really any improvements I can make. <laughs> Spawn back in because of magic. Or him or the guy surviving the fall, yeah. Dude's a wizard. Yeah, the Darker Nights thing, I think I have an updated version, but I'm not a big fan of it. Because the lighting changes based on where I am, so sometimes it gets darker, sometimes it gets lighter. A little frustrating. I like the earlier one where you could set the brightness level and it just put a lantern on your hip. Ah, yes. This music is so good. A lot of Nintendo music. I feel like nin the few areas that Nintendo does not skimp on ever is, like, the feel of the game and the music. I feel like just about every one of Nintendo's songs have good music. <laughs> the Boko is indeed a wizard. Okay, let's get down here. Let's go do Cryonis. Yeah, once I get the paraglider, if I have not perished by that time, then I will, in fact, add another mod. Okay, Cryonis is over this way. Make sure I'm going the right direction. We do have the camp there. I think I can just push them all off the cliff pretty easily. Okay, snowballs. Actually, I kind of want them awake, so they're all gathered up. Little <laughs> Keese getting caught. No, I don't want Keese. Oh, boy. This is bad. Okay, we're running. I'm grabbing the stake, and we're running. Okay, they have all the clubs. I don't want that guy to grab the flaming or the explosive barrels, because that will not end well. 
Okay, but Calvin there is still after me. Oh, crap. I can't eat. It's like my gut reaction. I need to eat, but I can't. Tried doing the plateau. Magnesis, Chronos, Stasis, Bomb. I found it pretty fast. I think normal speedrunning pattern is bombs. What do they do? It's like a weird order. I think it's like bombs first so they can BLSS. Then they like run up to Stasis, I think, and then Cryonis, and then Magnesis or something. I don't remember. We have Magnesis, Cryonis. Okay, so you go counterclockwise. I've always gone clockwise, and I don't know why. Okay. You mean outside speedruns? Okay. Have you ever tried actually speedrunning the game? How many of you guys here have ever actually speedrun any games? Yeah. Oh, hold on. This is too successful of music. I forgot what that one was. Um, I guess we can do Soul's Time. Only half a heart left, and we got the Guardian Up Head. Speedrun is Stasis, Kranis, Magnesis, Bomb. Okay. All right, come here, bud. Let's get the deflect. No, and you don't intend to? Ah, that's fine. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Yeah, I'm glad he's... Okay, he's not just sitting there anymore. If I miss this deflect, I'm <laughs> not going to make it. To be fair, you beat New Super Mario Bros. Wii relatively fast. Hey, congrats. Okay, there's that. Let's run up here. There's our monk friend. I remember for a while, actually, speedrunning specific shrines was kind of big in Breath of the Wild. I remember seeing a lot of videos suggested of that, like Kronos beaten in 15 seconds or something. Okay, I got all my health back. I just got to make it to the tower now. Or the whatever it's called. You know what I mean. The castle. No, not castle. Whatever. Cathedral, I guess. The old man's going to stop us again. <laughs> I do kind of like the different lighting that this brings, though. The darker nights, light, brighter lights. I wish... I wish it created, like, a fog around you that was darker. Speedrunners and Kronos are a little bit incorrect. What do you mean? Okay, I'll warp over to the Shrine of Resurrection. Then I'll go drop everything off into Stamina. Then I'll go grab the Paraglider. Then we'll get a new mod and continue on our way. I'll also, when we go to spin the wheel again, I'll add one mod in to replace the mod that I used for this. We still got to go find the Flame Blade. So yeah, we got to go check out the Coliseum Lionel, see if he is, in fact, different or not. And if him is not different, then we can go check out the stump. Ancient tree stump. Ah, shoot. Those rocks, they are way too much friction. And right around here. Perfect. Just bomb the hill right on down into the temple. There's the old man sitting up top. You can see his ethereal glow. You know what would be fun, though? I guess Zelda kind of already does this, but what I would really like is a 2D Zelda game, but that is very Metroidvania-based. Like, I know normally you can get, like, the grappling hook and stuff. Like, sometimes it happens where, like, you need the grappling hook to progress, and then you can continue onwards. But, like, I wish that they made it so that, like, huge areas of the map were affected by what items you had. Like, a game like that, I feel like, would be really fun to play. That's specifically from Nintendo as a Zelda game. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? 
Like instead of you just need the hook shot to get across the broken bridge and Gerudo Valley, like you need the hook shot a lot of other places to progress through the world. So, I mean, you can kind of see that on the plateau with bombable walls near. Oh, shoot, wrong button. Bombable walls near the different shrines. Send in Discord. Okay. Yeah, bombable walls near like the Magnesis Shrine or Cronus or whatever stasis. Different shrines hint at what you can do in the future, but I kind of wish that they played that out into the entire world. Okay. Well, ah, crap. My controller moves down way too fast sometimes. Stamina. Okay, we'll grab the stamina. There we go. We now have one and one fifth stamina. Perfect. Okay, we'll go talk to the old man, grab our paraglider, Thanos snap him, and be on our way. That invisible bottle is cool. Invisible bottle? What do you mean? Oh, the my water bottle? Yeah. Because it's green, <laughs> so it gets keyed out. There, I can put a hole in my face. Yeah, because it's not a perfect green, so like if I tip it, you can kind of see the artifacting on it, but yeah. All right. King Boron Phosphorus High Rules giving us the paraglider. Okay, so there's that. And then he says, that's it. And peace is out of here. Honest question, though. The ghosts have some interaction with the world. Like, they can give you solid objects, like the paraglider. The old man can wear clothes. And Mifa, when walking around inside Varuda, can affect the water. Why don't they ever fight for you? Like, they're invincible. They can affect the real world. They can handle physical objects. Why don't they help you in your mission to actually take down Ganon? They're the perfect soldiers. Can I climb outside the tower to the rooftop? Uh, what, to the very peak here? There is a Korok up there, but yeah, I can. Let me go grab the Korok real quick. But yeah, it's like the question with the latest Star Wars with the Force Ghosts. Like, if you tease Force Ghosts being able to interact with objects in the real world, like, why not send them in to disrupt the enemy? Like, it's the perfect idea, but they never do it. It's never explained why they can't. Like, one single line about how they're bound to where they died or something. Like, that would explain everything. But nope, we don't even get that. Like, the dead soldiers of Dunhar and Loader. Yes, exactly. Like, we need that. But they just peace out of here because they gave up after they died. But they didn't give up because they give Link stuff. Okay, let me save right here. And we shall get a new mod downloaded. Okay. Let me close this. What do we got? Let me pull up my wheel spinner here. Um, and let me find one mod to replace it to. Okay, where did that go? Thank you, Twitch, for rewelcoming me to the chat room. Every time your internet gives out, yes. Okay, I want Let's see if the boomerang does anything. Um, actually we can do here. Let's go to enemies. Where see the events? They don't have them here. Tutorial wiki. I don't want any of these. Okay, let me pull this back up here. Um, okay. Categories, category enemy, here we go. I want to see if there's like tons of enemies we can throw in or something. Darknut Moblin variant. That actually looks kind of cool. 
get some oh it puts the moblins in the dark nut armor Ooh. okay it's a manual download so it looks like it goes here dark nut enemy oh so it adds darkness to the game oh that looks hideous right there boomerang is a huge item in the original game yeah it is guardian awoken sounds fun which one's that one Oh, the crazy hard guardians. Yeah. Guardians Awoken. We'll add that to the list, I guess. And I'll also add the Dark Nut enemy. Okay. Apply wheel changes. So we got rid of Pyra's thing. Let's do this. And what are we going to get? Skipping over Relics of the Past. Skipping over Randomizer. We're going to Dark Nut Enemy. Sounds like a plan. Let me get that going, and I shall be right back. Okay, there you are. Let me install it. Okay, and I'll also remove the Dark Nut enemy from the wheel thing. Yep. But I'll be down for a battle with small animals and large animals if you if I don't have to go by the end of the stream. Oh, Pokemon? Um I don't know that. I'm usually pretty tired after streaming. So no promises. Okay. We have the Dark Nut enemy. Let me make sure the game loads here. Um, let's see. Okay, it's loading. This looks promising. Let me swap back over here. There we go. Let's see what this does. So it replaces the moblins with dark nut enemies. And we still got to do the flame blade still. So we got to go to the Coliseum. We got to check out the flame blade. It's raining now. And we got to find some moblins. You know, just uh, simple stuff. I know there's some moblins right off the plateau. I'll use those. Go check those guys out. This song sounds like if the Yiga were a bunch of children. <laughs> it's an app description. It is from... What is that? Kerbal Space Program. Somebody recommended it. Okay. It's a very gray day out. I'm kind of surprised. Can't really see far. All right, let's go find some dark nuts here. Again, I can only heal by shrines or beds. So no food is allowed. So if we die to a dark nut, we're adding a new mod in. <laughs> Which I don't really want to do right away, but you know, things happen. Yay. Let's see if this loads. I'm not a fan of the sky right now. I don't know. Oh, they're okay. I see them. Well, who's ready for this? Let's go, buddy. This looks, I think this is a blue moblin. This thing is terrifying. I don't know if it's just a reskin or if the armor actually does anything. Okay, it looks to be just a reskin. Got him. There we go. Okay, oh, it's just a reskin. Dark Nut and the OG, they are really prickly and hard. Yeah, and this one, it's just a reskin. The armor sadly doesn't do anything. All right. Let's go to the Coliseum. After I grab an acorn or two. Yay. 
Um, do, 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 do. I think that's just a rusty thing. I'm not going to grab Majora's Mask because I think that would be way too easy. So, no Majora's Mask, no food. But why the acorns? You know, quarter. Well, I guess I can't eat. Good point. You could only hit them in the back. Yeah, I remember that. Dark nut. Oh, that's right. The Dark Nut from the original, the first top down Zelda game. Yeah. You could only hit them in the back. In later games, you had to chip off their armor. They were tough. Okay, we got some horses. They're all facing me. I'm not a fan of that. There's a spotted rump one back there that I think I want. He should be easy to tame. And we can ride him to the Coliseum pretty fast. Yeah, let's go grab this guy. He's not looking at me yet. I guess the only... Ex oh, shoot, he looked at me. Well, I guess we're running for it. Spotted are easier? Yes. They take less time to tame. Come here, buddy. Or they tame immediately. There we go. Like this guy. He has less stamina, but he tames immediately. So it's usually good for early players. Wind Bomb is basically sacrificing your health stat for speed. Yes, it is. It's a handy trick to know, though. And with good armor, you're really not sacrificing that much health. Okay, horse, you gonna turn? See the guardian way up there, the divine beast. Okay, tower's over there. Stump, I think, is right through that way. Um, guardians I haven't messed with yet, so they're not gonna be any different. I'm trying to think if there's any other mods. Actually, let me add the mod real quick. Hold on. Um, <laughs> random music cut. There we go. Just keep a list of all the mods we got going going in the bottom corner. Okay, some more people getting attacked. They'll be fine. I believe in them. Okay, where are you, Mr. Lionel? Okay, there's the Korok puzzle. Bridge is right over here. Yeah, Stump will be right over there. So if this guy doesn't have Pyro's Sword, then we can go to the Stump. But I want Pyra's sword. And on across the bridge. I need to find a way to increase level of detail if I can. Ah, shoot. I don't. I think that guy has bomb arrows, actually. I gotta run. No, he's got ice arrows. That's bad. I'm out of stamina. Horace, please get your stamina back. Thank you. Okay, what does he have? I think that's it. I think he's got it. Does he? No, he has a regular Lionel sword. I guess he hasn't upgraded yet. Hold on, I guess we can kill him real quick. Kill him, see if maybe it's like in his inventory or glitched out or something. No, that's just a regular Lionel. He doesn't have one. To the stump we go. Brave words. <laughs> Uh, Lionels aren't actually that bad once you know how to deal with their attacks. Just like every game enemy, really. Once you figure out their pattern, they're easy. Okay, let's just dash across. I want to check the stump and see if it's there. Ah, yes, here comes the baseline. Yes. So yeah, I don't, um, yeah, I know this is a great flame blade. I don't remember. I know there's some moblins on the way. I don't remember if there's any moblins on the bridge. I think there are some on the stump itself and we cannot use the Korok leaf on moblins because they don't get ragdolled. Okay, on up we go. There's a moblin there. Come on, horsey, don't get killed. Rule number one, don't get killed. Okay, we've got a couple moblins here. I'll leave my horse. He'll be fine. Okay, horse. Okay, we got this guy here. Um, We'll pull out the Korok Leaf. It's Korok Leaf OP. Come on. There we go. There's a Hinox with regular Flame Blade on Satori Mountain. Okay. And he's off. 
Okay, Great Flame Blade is not it. Unless it's glitched. It might be glitched. I hope not. Okay, we'll just shield that. Run. Ah, crap. Okay, Great Flame Blade does not work. Hmm. I guess we have to find a regular. Let me grab this real quick. I'm right here. I want it. Great Flame Blade. Perfect. And we're off. Just like that. I don't even know I was there. Okay, well. Guess we gotta save and put on a new mod. One second. Okay, where is my wheel? Here we go. Since we added two last time, I can just spin it again. Just southeast of the shrine. Okay, is that the Stalnox? I don't remember a Hinox there. I don't remember know if it's glitched. It might be. Sometimes they don't play nice. Okay. What do we got? Okay, skipped over relics and randomizer. Ultra slow, fast guardians changed. Dabbing Squidward statue. <laughs> oh, man. Why is this a mod? Okay, let me get it. Okay, it's installing. That's a fast install. Okay, let me make sure the game launches. And it looks like it's launching. Yep. Looks like it's loading. Okay, let me swap back over. Okay, let's continue. So yeah, we gotta find a fl regular flame blade. Hmm. I'm trying to remember where an easy one is. Okay, it's still running smoothly. That's a good sign. Um, let me update my mod list. There we go. Perfect. I guess we can just start making our way over to the Zora's domain. So that way we can get to the statue and I there might be a flame blade or two on the way. I don't know that. Okay, well, we're just walking though. I'll get rid of the mod on the wheel here. Um, dabbing Squidward, we do not need anymore, so we just gotta add one when we get back. There's one near Zora? Okay, I thought there was. Okay. I think we can actually wind bomb this. No, it's too low. Shoot. Crap, and I can't heal. Wind bomb's gonna be much more dangerous. Or near Terrytown. That's kinda out of the way. I might be able. An enemy might have one up ahead. We can see. Okay, we broke the Guardian's beam. He no longer sees us. Let's get going. But yeah, if we do get the slower, fast Guardian beams, should we make the Guardian beams incredibly slow or way too fast to actually parry? And I think I know the answer to what you guys are going to say to that. Okay, let's scoot around there. I know there's a lot of guardians there. Too fast? <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured. I don't know, though, because if we make it too fast, if I get seen, slow would be funny, though. Slow would be. I think we can make it slow. Just because if it's too fast, then it will... I'll die way too quickly. Like, I'll get no time to parry. 
Okay, I think we're coming up to the whatever. The farm. Okay, I don't remember what this farm's name is. I know it's a reference. Is it Mallow's farm or something? I forget what his name was. Okay. Trying to remember if there's any enemies with a flame blade. I know up by a Colin Eldon, they're kind of common. Lionel didn't have one. Maybe he just wasn't leveled yet. Maybe. That probably is, maybe. Okay. So there's, Zor there's the whatever Kakariko. Zora is right over there. There's our guardian friend. Yeah, I want to stay out of range of him. I don't really feel like dying again. However, I do think I'm close to the hidden treasure chest here. Oh, shoot. The goblin see me. Well, crap. I guess we get a horse easily. Let me hang back so the goblin has to come out to me. Is he? Okay. Where's the goblin? He saw me. He got ready to attack, and then he just vanished. Hello? Sir? He's not around me. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's, he's coming. Headshot? Oh, shoot. I hit the horse. That's okay. Oh, he's back on. Dang it. You don't see nothing. Don't you dare get on the horse, sir. Don't you dare get on my horse. I'm claiming this horse in the name of Lynx everywhere. Thank you. All right. Just like that, we are off. I'm not shooting out the music I wanted. Let's do this one. Okay. The goblin looks like he's already despawned, so he's not a threat anymore. There's a Korok there. Um, hmm. I don't know. What are some other fun mods for this? I can't find the Linkle one. There's just too many copycats now and people making outfits for it. I can't find the original. Okay, Kakariko Village. Yeah, there's Dueling Peaks, so I think I need to head over this way more. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's the stable. How many rupees? Uh, zero rupees. We can sell our ruby, though, so we can get some stuff. We can get some monies. We can register my horse. Actually, you don't have to. I never knew this, though, until somebody pointed it out, but if you're playing Breath of the Wild and you get on a wild horse, that wild horse actually becomes essential in a way so that the game won't despawn it, and it'll stay wherever you left it until you register it. The game treats it like it's your horse until you actually make it your horse. Okay, there's a shrine over here. I guess I can leave the shrine open if I need a quick heal. I'm okay on hearts for the moment, so. Okay, we got one of them down. Yeah, there's that big goblin there. Hmm. Oh, look <laughs> out, guy. Ooh, he went flying. Flame blade. I really don't remember any flame flame blades around here. Um, I don't know. Maybe there is some somewhere. I just remember the stump and the Lionel, but the stump didn't have the right model, so I guess it's over the regular flame blade, and the Lionel didn't have that. Okay, there's shrine... I don't think any shrines nearby have any. I think they're mainly enemies. Um, all right, come here, horsey. Let's go. Sadly, though, Simu actually updated, so I'm not able to change the game speed anymore. That was fun when I could do that, but I think that too many people complained or something happened. So they got rid of our ability to do that. 
Okay, so I'm headed, I think, over this direction. It's kind of hard to tell with how dark it gets. I think I know the map well enough that I don't really need it. Who needs a map? Okay. Yeah, we could go. I guess we could open up this shrine, too. I know there's some Lizalfos near this, but I think we can grab it real quick and get out of the horse. Come on, horse. You can jump over that. You don't need me to tell you what to do. Yeah, because this is the one straight down. Is it? Yeah, there's Kakariko Village up there. You just glide down, high the three Lizalfos. And I think that's the Lanayru Tower there. Or the Zora Domain Tower. Ah, shoot. Electric keys. The bane of my existence. I hate them with a passion. Well, let's go. Sneak in. We'll grab the shrine. No one will know we were ever here. Completely stealthy. See, look at this. They have no idea I'm here. Absolutely no clue. Alright, I think they're actually killing my horse. Don't die, horse. Come here, horse. What are you walking to? Horse, come back. Horse, come back. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, I think I have to make my way over to that tower. That's where I'm trying to go. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I know where we are now. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's a flame blade on the plateau during the one hit quest with Lionel, one near Terrytown, one near Dueling Peaks, Ateno, one with Moblin, Elden, and the Satori Stalnox. Okay. There's one down by Dueling Peaks. I guess we could rush back there. Because I know they're not very common, is the thing. Yeah, okay, I see where we are now. There's all the enemy encampment there. Okay. Gotta be careful going. Through. I think I have to leave my horse here. I don't think I can take him with me. Yeah, I guess we can rush back to Dueling Peaks. I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. I guess we can leave it as one of those things. We'll come across it whenever we find it. Okay, there's our Stalnox. Don't really feel like waking him up today. Dueling Peaks 1 is basically south of the stable past the little stream next to the shrine. Okay, I think I know where you're talking about. Oh, shoot. I forgot these guys actually stopped me. I always cut around them, so I never get stopped by them. Dang it. I don't want to listen to your dialogue. Okay. Oop, uh, crack my jaw. I always like, after the first time I found out you could skip Prince Sidon, I always did. Like, once I found out that you didn't have to actually visit him, that instead you got a bit different cutscene when you did, and easier enemies on the path, it's like, why would I ever do the normal way again? Okay, a couple of Zolfos. I do want to get the tower for this area. As long as we stay outside of the rainy area. Oh, that's another Zolfos. I got a few, a few enemies on me. As long as we stay outside of the rainy area, I think we'll be okay. Okay, there's a rush room there. Ah, shoot. They're all alerted to my presence. Sounds like... One of them has elemental arrows. Okay, regular arrows. I'll take that. I'm running kind of low on uh, stuff. Okay. Let's get up the cliff. Come on, Jump Link. There's hymns. Let's just go up here, I guess. I like how it's a neat touch. You can actually cut these stands down. I think you can, anyway. They're counted as trees. So you can just chop them down if you wanted to. I think you can actually use that in one of the Trial of the Sword beginning trials, I think. Okay, Lanayru Tower acquired. Let's just climb it. Okay. 
Yes, you can. Yeah, it's like a fun little touch. Just a bunch of features like that that you would never think about. That they put a lot of thought and time into. Really make this game a lot. Really make it worth a lot. I just like the fact that everybody's figured out how to actually mod it. <laughs> so now there's tons of mods for it, too. I wonder if Breath of the Wild will become the next Skyrim. Once Skyrim starts fading, if everybody will keep going with this. Okay, we got an Icy Wiz robe down there. So... Um, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, we should be pretty close to the Zora's Domain. I think we can get into Zora's Domain before we die. Hopefully. And we can see the glory that is Squidward. There we go. Let's grab the tower. Get the Butiper Landscape. First time I did every tower, I was like, holy cow, that is gorgeous. And even still, it's like, you know, it's not half bad. Okay, so we get the drip cutscene. I really wish this thing wouldn't take so long. Breath of the Wild 2, I wish that they would make this drip go faster, or they'd have another way around it. Okay, I also added another song. I'm trying to remember where I put it. I don't remember if it is a battle song, or... Where did you go? Okay, yeah, we get the Sheikah Sensor. Oh, there it is. Okay, I found it. Some battle music for whenever we come into a battle. Okay. And yeah, it just walks us through the sensor. I know how to use the sensor game. You don't have to tell me. But let's go. Let's go skip print sight on. There's his bridge there. Let's just go right past it. I think actually, let me. Yeah, we're at a good angle here. Here, yeah, let me go back. To, hold on. Start the music too early. I'm gonna bomb impact launch this, I think. I think I have a heart or two for it, so we'll be okay. Yeah, it takes one heart with the armor I have. How many hearts do's I got? Two, yeah, it'll be a little bit tight, but we'll skip a lot of the path doing this. So, okay, as long as I can figure out exact Okay, it looks like Zora's Domain is mostly this way, so if I go that way, I'm going into Elden. Anyway, we're going on an adventure. Let's go. Okay, as long as my stamina doesn't run out, I shortcut a lot of this. There's the path right there, actually. Yeah, we cut off a lot of ground here. Oh crap, that's an enemy camp. I'm going down here. That's a lot of enemies. This might have been a problem. This may have been a problem. Never mind, I'm the greatest. Look at that. Can't even touch me. Can't do nothing about it. And let's just, uh, doink him. Goodbye. Doink you. Let's get rid of you before you zap. Me. Simply the greatest. Well, let's roll it for a new mod. First, though, we got to add one to the list. So, do I even, I don't know, want to know what there is. So we got Dark Nuts already. Um, let me find some enemy mods. Get some more of these going. What do we got? 
Tougher elemental monsters is a possibility. Peaceful Hyrule, no enemies. Poison Bacalbans, what's this? Add green Bacalban mask with inventory icon. What does this do to you? So they're all green. Oh, so it just recolors the red ones. That's not very interesting. Stall Lionel Summon. What does this do? Awesome Lionel Skin Mod. Um, okay. So, what is it? So you made this mod to add new stall Lionels all across Hyrule without changing others. Ooh. Stall Lionels. Okay, we'll add that. You guys can't see this. You guys don't need to see any of this. Don't need to. So we got stall Lionels here, which replaces a bunch of Lionel, or doesn't replace any. It adds a lot of Lionels all around the world as stall enemies, which are tougher. Because why not? Okay, category. I want to, I want the category. Where is just, how far do I have to go back? Enemy, I don't want enemy category. I want regular. Okay, what's this one? Spears, weapons. Let's do weapons, see what they got. Our flame blade we already got. Lego axe. <laughs> Oh man, what does this do? Oh, that texture, they did not get the shaders right on it. Oh, that looks ugly. <laughs> it is very bad. Way to sell it. Okay. It's basically infinite durability axe. No, I'll skip that for now. Um, what do we got here? Dark Radiant Shield. Will be a while before we get to Radiant Shields. Um, hmm. what others do we got? Halo Energy. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. This mod is an updated version of the original mod made by Malunky. This mod has two different versions. One replaces Guardian Sword. Plays a Guardian Sword. Plus, okay. So we'll turn the Guardian Sword Plus into the Halo Sword. Let's do that. Okay. There's that. Let me make sure it said there's two versions. Um, Guardian Sword Plus. Okay, yeah, we'll get both of these. Oh, hold on. I actually screwed this up. Halo Energy Sword is supposed to go on the wheel. Not here. Okay, we'll apply the wheel changes. And let's go. So what do we get? Let me check a mod real quick too. I wonder if they still have it. Oh yeah, they do. Okay, we'll add that one. Shenron from Dragon Ball Z. Okay, we'll get that one, but. Flooded Hyrule I want to add. So we have to download the Shenron mod. Joy. Okay, where did my wheel go? There's wheel. We'll tuck them together. He spawned in once again. Welcome back. We're adding Shenron. Okay, dragon. Where was the one? I think. What games are these for? These aren't for Breath of the Wild. Okay, they think. Water. Here we go. Shenron from Dragon Ball Beta. Just what, this video is private. We're off to great. I mean, look at that. <laughs> what did I, did I do this time? Uh, nothing. Be sure to install it after you release Ice Dragon from Malice. Instructions are hard. Didn't die to nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Okay, so let me close this. We'll have to reload. Let me load it real quick. Hey, I'm sure I didn't die. I'm always sure I didn't die. <laughs> Perhaps if anyone can tell me what this song is from, what game? Okay, let me make sure it loads. A game probably, you are not wrong. Okay, it looks like it's loaded. Let me swap back here. Properties. Let's add it in. You in? Ah, it's close enough. Okay. Let's get going. Okay, we'll drop him. He's going to shoot. I'm going to let him just hit this. Oh, I don't think he can reach me, actually. Perfect. Snipe. And snipe. Look at that. Look at that. Easy. So where I'm trying to... I think that's where I'm trying to get to, right over there. Okay, you can't see it because of the rain anymore, but right over there. You got to trust me. Yeah, we're in the solid rain only time. I think we can just wind bomb. Well, no, I don't know if wind... Well, I'm dead, so we already got my health back. I mean, I didn't die. I uh, was just too pro for the game. I think I can wind bomb this. Maybe. I'll try it, though. Oh, yeah. Easy. Look at that. Likely story. Yeah, it's true. I mean, you, 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 trying to, you trying to tell me that I'd ever lie to you guys? I mean, really. You know me. I'm trustworthy. I'd never lie to you. Okay. What? I'm... Got to say, I'm really worried for the... Oh, no. I can already see it. <laughs> oh, no. This is a disgrace. Oh, no. I can see his big eyeballs. I don't want this. I don't want any part of this. This is wrong. <laughs> oh, no. What have we done? Why have we done this? You trust people that don't lie less because they can lie to you a lot easier. Ah, why, why have, why have we done this? Why? Oh, and we get the memory cutscene. We're going to have to look at him even more. Oh, I hate this. It's per what world are you living on? This is an abomination that should never have been made. This is the abomination of desolation that starts wow. the tribulation. <laughs> wow, indeed. All right, let's go talk to the king. We'll get the cutscenes going. <laughs> Screw you, Mifa. It's Squidward time. What's going on with that? It's one of the mods we got. In the bottom left corner, you can see them all. One of them is Dabbing Squidward statue. So we have to stare at Squidward dabbing the entire time now. Yeah. Here we go. We got some more cutscenes. But yeah, when we get the memory, we're going to have to stare at Squidward's statue. Oh, man. Wow. Wow, indeed. Okay, let me skip through this real quick. Kind of weird. It like the game like locks the frame rate at 30 FPS during these cutscenes, which is really weird considering you run it at 60 and then all of a sudden it drops to 30. Squidward is the only god. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, there's all that. I already played the. <laughs> yep. Skip. 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 Oh, and get your guys' interest going. 
on this Friday, I will be playing Fall Guys for the very first time. I have never played the game. I have never even loaded it, so I have no idea what I'm in for. So I guess get hyped about that. You get to see me suffer. Okay, yeah, we get the Zelda talking to me. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I know, Zelda. I'll get around to it. <laughs> I don't know what we're staring at there. I don't know why we're just staring at mountains. Somewhere in the gloom, there's an elephant. Yeah, there's, a, there's an elephant over there somewhere. Yeah, Fall Guys on Friday. Anyway, let's get back to the music I was playing. Okay, yeah, we need shock arrows, so we get the shirt. Staring in the middle distance. That was more just staring. I don't even know if it was middle distance. Oh boy, Muzu mad. He's a mad Muzu. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the shock arrows, then we'll go stare at the statue. I don't know, should we kill the Lionel on Plenimus Mountain? I mean, I know you guys are gonna say yes because you wanted to see me die, but... Should we? Okay, 34 damage, two-handed. Yeah, that's more, okay. So I wanna go this way. I'm gonna steal his shock arrow. No, I don't wanna talk to you, stop. I don't want your shock, or I don't wanna talk to you. Stop it, I'm antisocial. Let me steal your stuff. There we go. Goodbye. Hey, you give me the quest to take the picture, but I don't have picture taking capabilities. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we can try the Lionel. I have two hearts though. So any screw up is game over. Is game over, man? Is game over? I don't. I don't know how he actually got that. How he, he sounded like that. Shoot these guys though. I forgot about these guys. Normally I just use Majora's Mask for this, but they shoot ice arrows. This could be bad. Okay, they're already sensing me. Okay, I'm out of his range now. He can't hit me. Perfect. He can only hit me on the way up. Let's go. Okay, there's that. Just glide right over here. We'll grab the next one. Perfect. On up we go. Then one more. How are they already seeing me? They got quite the eyesight. They've been eating their carrots. I don't remember. I think there's there's the ice arrows. Like I knew they had some ice arrows somewhere. I didn't remember where though. Yoink! All right, let's cue up the battle music. Watch this. We're gonna one shot this Lionel here. Get tons of shock arrows. I'll be the best Breath of the Wild player. Get a million subs. All this and more. Okay, Hightail Lizard, don't care about you. Alright, um, where is he? Okay, before we do this, though, let's get a word of wisdom from Nightbot to aid us on our journey here. Nightbot says, identity theft is not a joke. Brave words to live by. Anyway... Let us go. Oh, we got a rainbow. Cool. Hey, where is he? Where are you, bud? There he is. I seen him. He's gonna press. Yeah, he sees us here. 
We'll initiate combat. Let's go, bud. Okay, we get the flurry rush. He's chopping down the tree over there. Okay, go my flame blade. Do great things. Make me proud. Okay, get the flurry rush again. Flame blade still recharging so we don't get the elemental damage for that, but that's okay. Who needs elemental damage when you're this good at the game? See, look at that. Perfect flurry rush there. What are you doing, bud? Okay, we got the flurry rush again. Let's go. And go again. Easy. Easy. Okay. He's almost, what is that, third down now? We're chipping him away. Just a couple flurry rushes, maybe an arrow shot or two. Go. There we go. Just to whack him in the backside a few times. He's already half held. Okay, my flame blade lost its flame. I just like the effect of him mowing down the grass. Okay, you're doing that, sir. I missed it. Trying to aim for his chin. His hit, head hitbox is a little weird. There it is. Headshot. Let's mount him. Got my strongest weapon. Yep, 34. Perfect. I don't have the stamina to go for any shots. Missed it. That's okay. We didn't need that anyway. Didn't need that one either. There we go. We didn't need that one, though. Okay, come on, bud. Come on, just give in. Just let it happen. It's okay. And just uh, do a sh... Okay, he's dashing. He dashing. He mad. Land right in the backside again. Okay. Perfect. He's already quarter health left. We got this in the bag. Not even worried. Not at all. Okay, we get the flurry rush. And looks like we got a little bit of flame bonus there. Okay, headshot. Just like I planned. All according to plan. And KO there. Look at that. Easy. Lionels are easy. Okay, let's cut down the tree, though. Grab all the shock arrows I can. How many did you drop me? Okay, Lionel Hoof. Lionel Horn. Uh, no shock arrow. What? Sir? Why did you not leave me any shock arrows? I am disappointed. Okay, we'll drop the club. I don't need a club. We'll grab the sword instead. Well, crap. Well, I guess we just gotta start searching for some arrows. That's okay. There's a lot around here anyway. <laughs> so, should be nine now? Yeah, nine. Just need 11 more. Technically, if you're good enough, you only need four shots total, but game makes sure you, makes sure you have more than enough. Though I thought this was kind of interesting. The game never checks if you run out of shock arrows. So they never bothered to see if you run out and can actually complete the mission. They only check at the beginning if you have enough to start it. Okay, is there any up here? No. Nope. Couple over here though, we will grab these. There's all those, Um, another shroom. We're up to 14, 15 here, so five more. I know going up the path, you get a lot there. Okay, there's three. Just need dos mas. I will grab a couple extra, though, just because shock arrows are kind of nice to have. They are pretty strong arrows. And stunning enemies is han handy. Okay. But who's excited to go see Squidward statue again? Not me. It just feels so wrong. Okay. 
grab the rest of these. I think there's one tree up ahead with four in it. I've actually seen that Squidward dabbing statue a long time ago. I never actually tried it until now. Okay, there's all that. Just warp on back. I'm not too worried. Not gonna dive off this time. There's no point. Then we'll get the cutscene. It would actually be interesting to turn this into a series. Like, just see how many mods we can add before it gets unplayable. Because so far, I'm actually really surprised they're behaving. Oh. Even etched in lines in the back of the head. <laughs> it actually went all out on this. Like, it's impressive and wrong on so many levels. Okay. Let's skip through all the dialogue. Shocked Muzu is shocked. <laughs> Mifa loved Link. No, Squidward loved Link. I mean, just look at that. Look at the love in those eyes there. The statue's actually taller than Mifa. It doesn't line up the camera correctly. <laughs> oh, we're staring at his back? Oh. Um... That was awkward. All right. Anyway, let's go finish the rest of the dialogue. Then we got to go talk to Sidon by the reservoir. Then we got to do the fight to get in the Divine Beast, and we'll do the Divine Beast. <laughs> yep. Staring at his navel, apparently. Yellow, just awkward camera angle. <laughs> Muzu staring at Squidward is something I thought I would never see, and I did not think I ever needed. <laughs> All right, let's. We got twenty shock arrows. Signs like, oh, you already got them. Nice. And he just dashes off. Took a shot at the goal. Ah, oh, quit sports out of embarrassment. Rip, the goalie's on point today. Shoot, rip. There goes your dream of being a professional soccer player, I guess. That's okay, because there's still hockey. Let's go. Okay. And we do have the... I guess the Shenron is over top of Nadra. So I don't know how long until we actually see that. What are you doing here? Seconds. What? What's he doing out here? He's not supposed to be out here. Sir, your AI is broken. Go home. It's drunk. All right. Look at this. Gonna one-shot the goal right here. See, look at that. I made it. Yeah, let's see if we can get that fox to run up the stairs, actually. It's kind of fun when he can get it. And, okay, we're funneling him in. If we can, like, block him off, because he doesn't go that way. For there we go. We got him. And up the stairs he goes. His AI kind of freaks out here. He's like, doesn't know where to go. He's freaking out. Okay, is he going up the second step? Okay, he's going up the second step. Set. There he goes. He's going all the way. So oh, he's gone. Okay. Side on. What bow do I have? Uh, I guess we can just use that. Not too worried about this fight. This fight's easy, especially when the game's not running at 10 million times normal speed. Um, let me drop a shield because there's a knight shield right over here. Yep, knight shield. A little bit stronger than my Lionel shield, but the Lionel shield does damage, so either one's good. 
I gotta say, that is impressive to see the see Viruta in the mist like this. It looks really good. All right. Let's skip through all the dialogue again. And we're ready. I'm ready. Wonderful. Now let's go. Okay. Yeah, we got to shoot the orbs. Four orbs on its back. If you have enough stamina, you can do all four in one go, actually. I'm ready. Good answer. Let's get going. Yeah, we got to do the ice. We can do, I can do like one side in one go. I can't get all four, I don't think, because I don't have any stamina food. I can't eat, actually. Stamina food's pointless. I guess I have to really invest in elixirs. Let's go. Okay, there goes first block. Second, third. And let's go back up the spout here. Just like the itsy bitsy spider, except we're armed with shock arrows. Okay, there's that. Come here, sight on. Let's go. And thankfully, we can break the ice things before they actually launch. I'm trying to make sure we can get around to the other side before we break this. There. Ah, shoot, I got it wrong. That's okay, we'll glide over. Okay, let's get this side now. Just got to glide right on over. I should have enough stamina for this. Should have plenty, actually. Ah, shoot, that screwed up. I think I screwed this up big time. Did I? Yeah, I did. Crap the bed. Uh, you quit sports, too. We're all quitting sports today. Let's go. I'm at one heart. Okay, this is a little bit worrisome now. Okay, block number one, two, three, four, and there's, come on, come on, bud, hit that, there's that, another spiky ball, shoot, clip that, perfect, only blocks left, I don't know which side I need to go up on, I got kind of turned around. Yeah, losing the heart to drowning kind of sucked. That's okay. We got some shrines opened up already. Need to go to the far side. We can do that. And there it is. Into Ruta we go. Only one heart. Yes. Okay, the rain has stopped. Now we just skip the cutscene to go inside the Divine Beast. I could warp away, actually. We could go to a shrine, and I could get some healing if need be. Oh, we got a double rainbow. Cool. I don't know. Should we go heal? Or should I just rush it? Well, no. I haven't added a mod in a while. Let's just rush it. This will be mod number six. <laughs> yeah, let's just rush it till we die. I'll add another mod. My goal is to beat Water Blight today, which I think we can do. These are easy to do. All right. Let's go. So, um, yeah, we'll have to get the map. I think there's like one or two terminals you can get without the map, but I'm not too worried about them. A couple guardians, not tough enemies in here. It's just the water blight fight in master mode that I'm a bit worried about. Phase two, especially having infinite durability will help. 
But literally any hit from Water Ball, it will kill me. Okay, there's him. Let's go kill this Guardian here. Give me your bud. Okay, he shoots lasers. We'll deflect it. Look at this. Pro Gamer. Easy. I'll grab his part. I really wish in Breath of the Wild 2 they would let you be able to actually reconfigure the robots so that they you could actually get them as allies. That would be cool. Like, you could build up an army if you wanted to to fight Ganon. Okay, there's one terminal. We got four more. Okay, there's that. Let's go over here. I know there's that chest over there. I don't know what's in it. I don't, so I don't know if it's worth it. I guess we can grab it. It's been a long time since I have. Okay, she gets late authenticated. We got the map. Map of Divine Beasts acquired. Yeah, the rest of the terminals are all up above us. That one's going to go roaring outside my window. Honest question. Does the mic actually ever pick up those noises? Or not really? Okay, we can manipulate the Divine Beast with our map. That's good to know. And spring, not really worth it. Springs are easy to come by. So, right over here, there's a guardian at the top of the stairs. I remember this from when chat played Breath of the Wild on Sunday. That was fun. There you are. Come here, bud. Come here. There we go. Okay, I want to actually pick up this. So if we ever get the whatever, um, if we ever get the Halo Sword, then I have something we can see. Okay, shrine terminals floating around around. Let's give it a second. Wish there was a way to speed this up a bit. That should do it. Look at that, perfectly vertical. It don't get much better than that. Three terminal, excuse me, three terminals remaining. That'll be easy. Let's do that there. Okay, this should start turning soon. Maybe. Possibly. Not quite. Guess I gotta turn it one more. There it goes. Okay, it's live. Man, I love this song. Death Road to Canada music is so good. Okay, we'll grab this as terminal number two. I know there's like a walkway you can get to there, but I never use it. I never have. Never really seen a point to it either. If I can just write it up. Okay. There's that. There we go. There's terminal number three, dos mas. Two terminals remaining. Ooh, that was loud. Oh, shoot. I was like, okay, I can just wind bomb up there. But I was like, no, I can't because I can't heal. That's a little trickier. Yeah, I think I have to ride the trunk out. Mouse on the side. No, there's not. There's an eyeball somewhere. I heard it. I don't know where, though. Okay, we'll just ride this up and over to the guardian over there. And then we can take that path out to the trunk. Hello, buddy. Let's go. 
Okay, we'll get the flurry rush. We'll take him out right here. Easy. Okay, we get the waterfall so we can come back up here if we need to pretty easily. Uh, Guardian Spear, I don't know if I... Well, spears are kind of nice to have. I'll get rid of a torch. Torches are everywhere. It's a weak spear, but it's nice to have. Give you a little bit more range if you need it. Okay, there goes the trunk on out. Looks like it's turning nighttime now. 835, yeah. I know there's the chest down there. I think it was just a ruby, so it's not really worth it. Okay, let's get to the far side. Here we go. Gotta tip it all the way up. And make sure we don't fall off here. Uh, horribly missed. Nobody's making goals today. Need to pay my goalie more. He's working overtime. Okay. There's terminal number four. Uno mas. I can't actually jump fast enough to outrun it. There we go. Okay, we just gotta glide on down here. Then I gotta shoot the eyeball. Actually, I think I can blow it up. Can't I? Yeah, I can. I just gotta deal with this goal now. Come here, bud. Come here. That was easy enough. Yeah, that goal is on point today. Nobody can make the goal. I'm impressed. Code is not in anyone's favor. There it goes. Ah, the water's not rendering correctly right now. Grab this, and then it will be time for Water Blight. Alright, Squidward, I won't let my guard down for you. Yeah, let's just get up here. Come on. I think you can make this jump. No, I guess you can't. I need to be just a tiny bit higher. Yeah, you'll have to be a tiny bit higher. Just over there, I'd think only has like a topaz or nothing too special in it. Okay, so that's a silver rupee. I'm not needing that. Okay, one heart to take on Squidward's killer. This ought to be easy enough. Let's go. Come at me, bro. Not worried about your regeneration at all. Okay, we'll get the flurry rush. Squidward says, well done. And get a couple of swings in there. Perfect. Look at that. Already down to quarter HP. This will be easy. Hey, okay, don't regenerate on me, though. I will not thank you for that. Okay, headshot him there. We have enough arrows to deal headshot damage during phase two, so that'll be okay. Okay, he's back up. Get a couple extra swings. Phase two. Let's go. Beat Water Blight first try with only one heart. It's all you need. Okay. Water level is raising. And let's get over here. Where is he going? He's going literally right above me. This is bad. Okay, headshot. Actually, that worked out pretty well. Okay, shoot, I'm in the water. I can't read. Well, no, this is why I got the spear. Look at that. Look at that. That's why you get a spear. Okay, he's going to the this one. Let's just glide over here. Pull out Cryonis. What's he doing? Five blocks. Okay, he's getting some health back. I don't know if there's really a good way of scooting around that. Okay, headshot. He's down. Let's run over to him before he starts healing. Come on, Link, climb. 
and get some damage. Yes, look at all those points of damage. That's beautiful. Where are you going, bud? Trying to outrun your fate. There's no outrunning fate here. There's only headshots. Okay, we'll pull out the spear. I think he's just a little too far. We got him anyway. Look at that. Don't need no hearts. Don't need nothing at all. You can beat Water Blight with only one heart. Easy. Look at that. So that is Water Blight down. We got three more Divine Beasts to go. I still gotta find a still gotta find a flame blade though. Yeah, I might actually keep this up for every Wednesday or so. Try and beat the game going crazy on mods. Honestly, don't know how many until it gets unplayable. But we get some healing here as well. Aw yeah. Oh, hold on, I'll save this song for a second. Okay, we got some healing. Let's go talk to Mifa. Skip that cutscene. I would laugh so hard if the Squidward mod actually replaced Mifa with Squidward. Like, that needs to happen. Oh, we don't get the Mifa cutscene at the end. Interesting. Perfect. We got Mifa's Grace. I now get a chance at not dying. Okay, let's go get my special weapon. I need to make room for it, actually. Um, I guess I can drop this. Squidward's Grace. Was it actually called that? Please tell me it was. No, uh, that was a missed opportunity. They need to call it Squidward's Grace. All right, King Dorfin. <laughs> Pass Squidward. <laughs> we have survived. We have saved the real world again. Aw, yeah. Look at us being heroes again. Even Muzu's apologizing to us. Realizing our love for Squidward was strong. Yeah, we gotta grab the sword. You hate Muzu. Muzu is kind of a jerk. Yeah, Muzu is kind of... I like that he comes around at the end, but he is he is kind of a jerk towards you. I, I guess it's understandable, though. Yes, everybody cheering for us. We saved all 12 Zoras. Aren't we the greatest? Vine Beast Varuta completed. Well, real question. Which one now? What Divine Beast do we go for? I got four hearts now, so we got more life. Uh, we could do Thunder... Camel? Yeah, I was going to say, we could do Thunder Blight next. That is an option. Uh, Rudania would be a good one. For some reason, I thought Camel was chicken. I don't think it's a chicken. I'm pretty sure it's a camel. I don't think there's any desert chickens. Well, no, now that I say that, no, there are desert chickens. That is a real thing. It's like little birds that live in the sand. Do we do camel next? I mean, Thunderblight's not terribly hard. I mean, if you slip up, yeah, you get punished, but I don't know. I don't struggle as much with Thunderblight. Oh, game loading for a second. Actually, what I want to do before we end the stream, I want to go back and check the Coliseum Lionel. We should have racked up a lot of points from doing that Divine Beast, so now we should be able to see if he has a Flame Blade now or not. Thunder Blade is easy once you've done it once. Yeah, I agree with that. First playthrough, you gave up and glitched the Master Sword. Wow. My first playthrough was back when nobody knew how to get the Master Sword early. 
Like menu overloading was just a dream in some glitcher's eye. Um, but yeah, I had to actually do it legit the first time. And I did it legit in master mode too. Doing Thunderblight in the dream world master mode the first time, that was the worst. That and Monk Maz in master mode, I hated. Just because his regeneration, if you didn't, during the phase two or whatever, when he's got the clones, that was just painful. Okay. Get this shrine raised so I have the option of coming back here if need be. Uh, missed by a mile. Dang. Don't like monkey. Uh, I need some context for that. <laughs> What monkey exactly are we talking about? Everybody's missing. Holy cow. I gotta pay that goalie extra. He's working hard today. Okay, let me... Actually, here, I started the music too early. Let me warp back to the plateau. I'll go run over the Coliseum. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> Finally, after so many attempts, finally made the goal. Coagulation. Okay, but finally, I think, yeah, I think we'll end off with seeing if this Lionel does actually, yeah, because that's right, he's supposed to upgrade once you do one Divine Beast. They all get elemental weapons. So he should be fully upgraded now. 91% pro, that's not bad. That's pretty good. You have impressed Nightbot. Okay, Coliseum is over this way. There's Birdie flying around. Yeah, I'm going to need more context other than hating Monkey. <laughs> what are we talking about here? And let's go. Off on our adventure. Professional football player. Football? What is this football? No, that's soccer. We're all Americans here. Okay. 91% pro, not bad. Does he have one now? He's not upgrading. Sir, you need to upgrade. I guess I can grab the armor in here. All right, at it. We might fight him, I don't know. Monkey kills Monk Maz, okay. I see, I missed that. Oh, there it is, Monk, Monk Maz, Kashia, yeah. Monk Maz in master mode was a nightmare. Where is the chest? This, there it is. For some reason, Magnesis stopped actually showing up. Okay, is Lionel, Lionel's not doing anything. Phantom Helmet. Is fight not very good? I thought it was interesting. I thought it was cool that you could fight a monk. And that he used stuff that you'd never seen before. I think it was a little bit too long for its own like, good, though. Oh, hi, Choo Choo. Okay, so he's not upgrading. Um, I don't know where another one is. That's easy to get. Um, I can't really make it over to Dueling Peaks fast. Let me look this up real quick. Feeling Peaks one? Yeah, let me see exactly where that is so I know where I'm going. Um, let's see. So the Great Flame Blade East Carbo Field and East K Central Hyrule tip in the Where is this thing? Go from Lanayru Tower. Okay, yeah, we can. I guess we can try. Well, Lanayru Tower isn't Dueling Peaks over here. So it'd be closer going from the Jabai Shrine. Okay, where. Here we go. Um. I'm trying to remember if I can remember exactly where this thing is. Uh, I don't remember. I 
I guess... Yeah, let me go from here. I guess we can just run east and see what happens. Shovel Knight music is good, too. Shovel Knight's a fun game, too. I like Shovel Knight. Okay, a couple stall Coblins saying hi. Would be nice to... I guess we could top off on the shrine on the way here, too. Okay, we already... How much damage does the spear do again? 22? That's pretty good. And let's go. Thankfully, when you run the game at a faster frame rate, you can just have palm impact launching go whenever you want. Hi, Choo Choo's. You can see the Divine Beast way over there, Scotland around the mountain. Okay, is there one in the monster camp here? I vaguely remember one being there. Ah, there's the shrine there. We'll just skip right over it. We only got one heart, though, so I can't wind bomb anymore. If I drown, too, that would be bad. I can't eat. Shoot. The steak there is calling my name. Hmm. I'm trying to remember exactly where this thing is. Is it in the forest by the crotch of the river? I know. If the Pyramithra one doesn't work, then I guess we can just add a new one for next time. It's southeast of Stable. Okay. Yeah, we can make her. We can get over the Stable pretty easily. Not too worried about that. Okay, we'll just alert them all. I'm not too worried about that. I'm not going to grab the tower here. I don't need it. I'm a professional, professional gamer who don't need no tower. Just chill right down here, though. I don't want to get sniped. I only got one heart. I can't afford to engage anybody right now. I do need to start making a lot of elixirs, though. That's what I really need. Because if I can't eat, elixirs are going to be the only way I can get any buffs whatsoever. No hard elixirs, I'm going to say, but, like, fireproof, I need. Stamina, I can use. Pretty much everything but hearts, we're going to say, is okay. Okay, let's get up here. I'll pop open this shrine, so that way I can come back to it if need be. So I can get a healing whenever I need. That's understandable, yeah. Try and not make it too easy to heal up, so that way we get more mods. Where are we going now? Uh, there is a flame blade over this way that I'm trying to get. So I am heading towards the Dueling Peak Stable because I have heard whispers and rumors that there is a flame blade. So we can see if the Pyramithra model reskin actually works. If it doesn't, I'll spin the wheel, we'll add a new mod, then we'll call it. Okay, yeah, there's this monster camp here. I think if I can just rush through it, they'll never catch me. I have a throwing spear over here. Ah, there's a couple black bacoblins in there. No, thank you. And bomb barrels, yeah, no. Oh, crap, don't stun me. Okay. Off we go. Okay, dude over there has a treasure chest. I wonder if that's worth looking into. Let me grab the shrine. I will do this shrine just so I can teleport back. I don't think I can jump over the spikes without dying. So instead, I'm just going to pop it open. We'll do it real quick. And then I can go grab the flame blade. Hadamar Shrine. Dahamar. Ha, ha Dahamar Shrine. Say that ten times fast. The Water Guides. 
This one. I remember this one. It's one of the earlier shrines I think everybody does. First time playing Breath of the Wild, we all follow the main quest and head right for Impa. And we all pass the shrine in doing so. Okay. We place a block right over here. And we need one under this. Perfect. And then we need one more right here. Then we can just run over to the door. On your first true playthrough, you didn't get any food whatsoever because you didn't understand it. Ooh, that's hard mode there. Okay. <laughs> hey. There's that. I get all my health back. Ah, yes. Glorious hearts. Yeah. How'd you survive then? No food. I guess unless you learned later that you had to eat. Okay, spikes are gone. So we got to go southeast of here. I assume it's going to be a, like a monster camp or something. Oh, well, you started after you got stuck at a line. Oh. I can imagine. Did I get any chests in the shrine? No, it's just a purple rupee in there. And by that, you mean you left it for like four, oh wow, four months of not playing? Dang. And he came back and immediately knew how to play the game. Yeah, I've done that before. You like leave it and then you come back, things click all of a sudden. Hey, where is this thing? I am southeast of Shrine, of whatever, stable. I choose you, so you do not have Flame Blade. Follow the Little River? All right, we'll follow the river. Follow the Clark Fort. Hi there, boar. Thankfully, we've got a few hearts to play around with, so I'm not too worried if the boar stomps me. Is it on the island over there? What do they got? They got just spears, I think. I don't see their weapons. Is it over there? I actually haven't really done much with that over there. I haven't explored it much. Okay. There's a lot of horses here. Wow. And an Octorok. Where is Octorok? Okay, Octorok's back over here. There he is. Ah, I seen him. There we go. Easy. There's all that. Okay, is it by the shrine in the wall over here? Or that's back that way, isn't it? It's like right over there. Is it? Yeah, it should be. I had the upgraded Sheikah sensor, but oh well. Uh, I don't actually know if there's any moblins over here either. I guess we'll find out if we see any dark nuts roaming around. Okay, a couple of goblins with sticks. Uh, crack my neck, loosen it up a little bit. Um, there's that river. I... How have I gotten to Fort... Okay, I went north somehow. Whoops. Went the wrong way. Okay, so there's four again. There's just a couple acorns. I'm not worried about acorns. Okay, so there's the stable. So here's right where... Okay, yeah. There's the island. I know where I am now. Gotta go across this way. Horse is about to run into the water. Horse is a silly horse. Okay, not worried about these guys. Actually, I don't know if it's a flame blade in the chest. Okay, he's got a flaming spear. That might be a bit of a problem. Arrows, not what I wanted, but I won't turn them down. Right over here. 
Octorox, I hate these guys. They're not hard to deal with, it's just so many. Hyrule Bass, sure. Um, what are you, Silent Shroom? Okay, here's the little river. Oh, is it up in the cave up there? I don't remember what's actually in that cave. Remember, it's like a little side quest thing. It's in the cave, okay. Just past the cave. Is it in the cave or is it past the cave? Oh, it's a Bloopy. Hi, Bloopy. Yeah, there's actually a Stalnox over here. This is a good place to do the Stalnox curse glitch. Okay. I don't know if I can... Well, no, there's some stopping points. I think I can climb it. Yeah, we can stop right where the silent shrooms are. We'll be fine. We got stamina. We'll be a-okay. Okay, it's regen everything. Yeah, there's the bombable wall. I don't know if there's anywhere past this that I can go other than just straight up. Put on the successful music. It's gonna be right in here. Somewhere in one of these chests, I bet you. Sapphire. Not what I wanted. This time we'll get it. A sapphire. This time we'll get it. A luminous stone. Killing me, Smalls. This time we'll get it. There it is. And it's okay. Here it is. It is actually oh, my inventory's full. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, uh, I guess we could drop the sledge. I'll never use that. Now we got it. We got Pyra's Pyra's sword. However you want to pronounce that. Let me grab the rest of his loot in here. Got amber, toasted hearty truffle, which I can't ever use. Opals, that's pretty good. Um, no, there's nothing up there. Let's check this thing out, see what we got. That is a cool skin. Look at that. Look at that. That is cool. That's snazzy. Anyway, this has been fun. I like this. I think I do want to finish the game like this, adding a mod every time I die. It's... I don't know how long this will go, because I think we can do, like, two Divine Beasts per day or so. I think that's pretty doable. Um, so probably, like, four or five streams, I think, or so, total. Um, but yeah, so far we have a few mods to, to mess around with, and I'm sure we're going to be getting some more. Um... But yeah, this Friday I will be playing Fall Guys for the very first time. This Sunday I will be starting Relics of the Past. So hopefully you guys are interested in that. If not, uh, I don't know, just shout rigged at me in chat or something. But anyway, I shall see you guys next time. Take care.